Uh, hey everybody, Dogbear here with another uh, arena video. Since uh, we now have our bigger Morgans in our shards now, uh, I'm going to be going against here uh, the rank 2 Hollow. He has a 5 red, 6 yellow Morgan. Uh, for reference, I have a 5 yellow, 5 red Morgan. He also has a 6 yellow, 5 red uh, Strange. He has a 6 yellow, 4 red Wong with uh, 4 red. Uh, of course, he has Dormammu at TL-16, and he has a 6-6 six, six, uh, Agatha. So, does a bigger Morgan cause any problems? I'm using the Agatha variant here of the hybrid. So that's Morgan, Ebba, Agatha, and the Eternals. I found this one to be the best when going against the Dormold. Uh, gives you more control. My Agatha is only 3-3 three, three still. And of course, my Eternals are built up. Uh, Icarus at gear 16. Uh, Cersei at gear 15. Uh, just waiting on uh, some more Mystic pieces to take their gear 16. Uh, the big thing here is, uh, as you saw in my opening move, I actually targeted Dormammu with Morgan, because uh, you really want to just hit him and hopefully get that immunity off. If not, you want to flip it with Icarus. As you can see, we've already killed Dormammu. I had, uh, landed the ability block with my Morgan onto their Morgan, despite being a slightly smaller Morgan. So now we're going to start going after Wong, because we had to kill him twice, and he has Teal. Uh, so that's quite annoying. Resetting the speed bar here. I've actually found uh, you want to control Strange Heartless more. As he's gotten bigger, he does so much more damage now. As he's gotten built up, so you kind of want to get he becomes number two priority target. We get the stun here on Morgan. Let's don't forget Attica does get 50% more focus. We've killed Strange once. I'm gonna blind him. And we actually ended up killing him a second time. So Strange is gone. Everybody else was under stealth, so we went and did the big blast with Icarus again. This puts everybody back under stealth. I just worked down Morgan just a little. I probably shouldn't have done that. I should have switched to Wong. I realized my mistake. And it ended up not mattering. I'll still switch. I didn't switch yet. Uh, thankfully, Morgan has a lot of hit points, so I can make those mistakes now. And Wong has died the first time. And there goes Wong the second time. I'm gonna work on Agatha now. We actually end up leaving Morgan for last since we have her stunned. Agatha has died the first time. She stunned her Eternals again. Doesn't really matter. I'm gonna clear all this off of Emma. Our right, Agatha's going. I gotta stun there, Morgan, stop some turn meters from happening. We just keep her under control. That's why I like this bit, this team. Okay, Agatha's dead. Uh, that's Morgan one. So Dormhold <laughs> definitely makes the fights a lot longer. Killing everybody twice is annoying. But as you can see, this team still holds up. Doesn't matter. Now, if I imagine if you're going with like a 4-4 Morgan, that might be a bit more of a difference. You're going to have to build up your teams and do only slight punch-ups. You're not going to be doing massive punch-ups. Now, let's take a look at one more video. So this is on my Mordak account. This is a bit smaller characters here. Going up against a 5 or 4-5, four, 4-4. Four, four. I forget. <laughs> Uh, Morgan, so for relatively, I think the same. I think we're both for four Morgans. This is the Kestrel version of the team. Uh, Icarus is the only uh, level 85 gear 15. Oh, never mind. Uh, Kestrel's gear 15 as well, 80, level 85. Uh, Cersei and Emma are level 80 gear 15s. Uh, Morgan is actually 85 gear 15 as well. And think about what the all's on this account. This is the full dark hold with Scarlet Witch we're going against here. Uh, they're a bit uh, bit lower, I think. 
or uh, you can see a small Agatha here, only level 80, only two red, five yellow though. So somebody didn't get very lucky. But you can see the whole idea with the Kestrel version is you kind of get those defense downs out there and just let her ping them to death even when they're under stealth. And it does work well in the whole dark hold. We don't have to deal with Domamu here, so when they die, they die. You see Scarlet Witch just gets pinged to death. And there goes Strange Heartless. It is a 4 4 Morgan. I just happened to notice that. So, a pretty much straight matchup. Easy win. So, until next time, uh, the bigger Morgans haven't made too much of a difference unless you're trying to punch up tremendously. That will be a bit of a pain for you. Until next time.